or reload before I forget. Um, and actually, give myself a little bit of healing for Brent. Yeah, he's. I think he got hit by the toad. I can't remember. Low dosage pain relievers. Perfect. Yeah, Serge, I mean, it might have popped up. Uh, it, it didn't pop up tonight, but to be fair, uh, it, it could have popped up on another evening. I don't remember it popping up. I guess it's the best way of putting that. Um, let's see where we're going to go next. Let's just scout. Oh, actually, let's check the map. What am I doing? Local map. Um, yeah, head west. Into the darkness. Oh, I've changed the camera mode. I was trying to rotate it. Oh, what's this? Examine. The leg is made of plastic and metal, scuffed and dented from hard use and badly mangled at the severed knee joint. Looks like it was removed from the rest of the body by a shotgun blast. Oh. Okay. Metal thing. It's, it's a leg. For Christ's sake, what's going on? Uh, you can grab a synth part that sells for maybe 30 scrap and is plot pointless, never implemented. And the repeaters and other stuff is around, is round elsewhere on the map. Okay, cool. Uh, Col Vargas. Col Vargas. Okay. It's Col Vargas. Echo one, go ahead. Got an update for me? Affirmative. Found the repeaters and the logbook and the metal man. What? A dead robot. Looks like it killed Ace and stole the repeaters and logbook. Well, I'll be goddamned. We haven't seen any synthetics around for almost 15 years. We better get a closer look at the tech. Mirror Captain might be able to tell us where it came from. See if you can grab a piece of it and bring it back to Mirror Captain the next time you're at the Citadel. What is a synthetic? That is Mirror Captain's fancy word for smart robots. She calls them synthetic life forms or synths. Basically, any robot that can think for itself falls into the synth category. Plain old robots are dangerous enough. Ones that think for themselves are a nightmare. Message received and understood, General. You've already been to one of the spots I was planning to point you toward. High pool. <laughs> Get your asses back there and stick one of those repeaters onto their crane transmitter. After that, head to Ag Center. Sending you the coordinates now. Copy? Can you tell me about Ag Center? Ag Center is due south of Ranger Citadel and very important to what we're trying to achieve. The researchers there are developing hardier plants and animals that will thrive in the harsh conditions of the waste. If it all pays off, we may see the day when nobody in Arizona goes hungry. Talk to Matt Forrestall about hooking up to their radio dish. Used to be one of us. Now he runs things down there. That's good people. Anything special about the dish? Used to be part of an old satellite relay system, from what Woodson tells me. Strongest transmitter in Arizona. Copy, General. On our way. Roger, Echo One. Ranger Command out. Wow, that's a lot of XP. Um, yeah, uh, Angie's dialogue rather sloppily indicates she were meant to find the leg prior to the dead droid. Yeah. You know, it's it's interesting, like, in some cases the, the dialogue is kind of out of sequence like that, but then I was quite impressed with the fact that Vargas knew, recognized the fact I'd been to Hypool. You know, he's like, I see you've already been to one of these places, get your ass back there. I thought that was pretty good. Right. Um, if we got anything coming up, let's uh, check the map. Right. There's an X on the map, that's a good sign. Oops, wrong button, and off we go. I think, was this another cave? Yeah, all right, cool. Uh, I'm all ammoed up. Health is good, let's go in.
All right, we're um, we've made it in the cave. So, oh, is that a toaster? I don't have any toaster repair. So that's a bit of a shame. Um, and I'm pretty sure this, yeah, okay, this is like a shrine. Okay, so I can just walk in here, that's fine. Examine. This toaster is in need of repairs, and I don't have anyone that's got that skill. Double check. Yeah, nope. Okay, that's fine. And what's this? Examine. Whoa. Everyone got a skill point? Statue. The corpses of birds and mice in various stages of mutilation have been meticulously laid out. Limbs and half torsos placed with ritual precision in a complex pattern, encircling the statue of a cat. Okay. Statue of a cat in a cave. Interesting. Each squad member gained plus one skill point. Very good. All right. Oh, I guess I could give someone toaster skill now. Um, let's see what we got. So, it's my sniper. I think I want the toaster repair to go to. Who's the one with the brains? It's Boo, I think. Yeah. That's a lot of skill she's already got, so probably not the best idea. Toaster repair. I think maybe to alien. What do you think, Serge? Toaster repair skill goes to who? There's my squad leader. There's my, eh, I guess I'm calling that like my mechanic almost. Weapons, Smith, Snipers, and Perception. Uh, future playthroughs with apologies. You will find Ag Center to be far more rewarding in terms of both loot, XP, and story, including the recruit available at the one versus High Pool. The difference between High Pool and Ag Center is that Ag Center is more of a slog and may require more careful choices made in how to move through it and what to do first. A High Pool is a straight up quick combat tutorial, some story XP rewarded via quest after. Okay, good to know. Uh, Toaster Repair does not have any place on any of your main characters, you will see why. <laughs> um, are you saying don't bother with the Toaster Repair skill? Not enough return on the investment, maybe? I know, I know like if you fix, go into the toasters you get inventory items, but Maybe that's essentially just like a locked chest of sorts. It's a funny skill to have in a game like this, actually. Toaster repair. Maybe that's the dev's sense of humor shining through. Um, let's see, as far as skills so far, these all require two skill points minimum to advance anyway. Uh, you know what, actually, she's going to get Surgeon 2, I think. Oh no, I need 2 for that as well. Yeah, I'm... has anyone got more than one skill point? That's the question. Nope, so I'm going to hold on to those and wait. Uh, there's someone else that would do the toaster repair for you late. Spoilers, okay. That's a minor spoiler, but that's that's fine. Save me a skill point, I appreciate it. And I did ask. Um, right, let's head out of this cave. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's the toaster. Let's get, grab a quick drink. Hang on just a sec. Right, let's see what we've got down here. Ooh, rocks. Um, use a sh let's examine first in case it's booby trapped. Something seems to be buried. Use a shovel. Toasters are jackpots of this game sometimes. Oh, I see. So combined with that and the fact I'm going to get someone doing it later. So, okay, good. So it's worth having, but I don't need to invest in it myself. Uh, cost for skill advancement is two for three, four for three, six for three, 
and eight best spent only on the singular combat skill each recruit should have fantastic what do we got here fair amount of scrap that's good and what's this pipe bomb all right heavy weapons don't be holding it when it goes boom let's distribute those And let's head, what are we heading now, south, I think? He didn't die quiet, at least. He went down fighting. Damn it, Ace. There's a lot to say about Ace. I don't know if, uh, what your guys' thoughts are on the compass. I remember when I first played this, I found the compass quite tough to get my head around. And then, now that I'm used to it, I, I think it's really clever. It's like one of those dashboard compasses, you, you know, you might stick to the dashboard of your car or something like that. I'm just going to scout ahead here, actually. There's some cover. I think... Oh, I'm not sure if these raiders are going to attack automatically. So, I'm going to approach with caution. Put my sniper here. Let's go to singular squad member movement. Flank on the left. Um... She's going to go up front. Ooh. Well, you know what? It probably would have triggered if if uh, if they were going to attack because he came pretty close. But position the troops either way. Mm, how far wide does she want to go? That's a bit far. And she's got no cover. Nah, don't like that. She can go a bit further up, but... I wanted to have cover. And if you don't want to get hurt, you better pay up. Fifteen scrap. And hit the hell out of my face. Do I want the fight? I think I probably do. Um hard ass. In what world could you possibly hurt us? The pain would be all yours, cretin. All right, here's 15, or oh, smartass. But it's a great face, the face of a leader. You shouldn't be taking tolls for the others. You should be telling them to take tolls for you. Let's go with that one. Really? You <laughs> think so? Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe I should be in charge. Excuse me, I got some asses to kick. <laughs> Nice, I've made a new friend, excellent. Yeah, I got you on the compass. Yeah, compass, um, yeah, clever. It just takes a bit of time getting used to it. So I can go back to full squad movement now. I saw something shining over here. What do we got? Examine. A torn page from a ranger logbook. Only a few words are legible. Let's collect that. The page is smeared with oil and dirt, but some of it is still legible. Excellent. Yeah, that's definitely Ace's handwriting. I'd recognize those chicken scratches anywhere. Toasters routinely have white lettered plot valuable items that when given to the right NPC are used in the right circumstance. Gets you a superior unique weapon armors. Wow. Yeah, it's, I guess it's one of those it's one of those sorts of games where you basically have to play through it multiple times to figure all this stuff out unless you unless you used a guide. I mean, that's kind of the impression I get from it, which which is cool. I mean, you know, value for money and all that. Well, let me tell you, Matthias's law, friends. Matthias's law is vengeance. And soon... Matthias's law will stretch all the way to Arizona and kill those so-called upholders of justice, the Desert Rangers. Oh, well, that's us. So, yeah, that's a bit creepy. This is what um, Vargas was talking about earlier. Yeah, this transmission... Almost unauthorized transmission going through our towers. Okay, examine. What do we got? 
duct tape to one of the legs of the radio tower is a pre-apocalypse transistor radio. It looks like somebody had patched it in the tower and set it to receive a particular frequency, which is about 2548. But the patch wires have been severed. Someone with even the most rudimentary tech skills could probably re-splice those wires and hear that frequency. Okay, mechanical repair, let's give it a go. Let a pro handle this. A small speaker chirps out a series of spasmodic beats amidst a sea of static. Okay, Morse code, huh? Alright. Time to roll that D20. Uh, it's a surge. Later in the game, pretty early actually, you'll get a storage locked with infinite... Oh, okay. Like a storage locker with infinite space. Cool. Yeah, very helpful. Uh, I have to get with apologies, but good luck... Yeah, thanks a lot, Serge. Appreciate it. It's nice of you to join. Uh, nice to meet you. Time to roll that D20. Now, rolling the D20, is that is that essentially what I just did by doing the uh, repairs? I'm guessing so. I wonder what would happen if it broke. Hmm. Alright, what do we got here? Examine. Now, I'm hoping that when I go into this chest that the raiders are not going to attack me, but... Just, uh, let's see, this crate stamped ammunition, property US government. The crate survived the apocalypse, maybe its contents did too. What do we got? Excellent, more ammo. Just what I need. Um, any more supplies around here? Oh, what's that? Examine. A plaque bolted to the chain link reads, property of the desert rangers, trespassers will be shut. Well, that's me. A strange symbol has been stenciled over the notice, a peace sign that, look, that looks like a printed circuit. Okay. Got anything else around here? That's some great pink pants. Okay. Or trousers, depending on where you're from. Excellent. I like punk rockers. Okay, examine. I don't think I need to examine this because I've already been to the other side, so I'm not. Don't even need to work. Oh, but free skill. Not skill points. Free experience, maybe? Carefully examining the fence, Brent finds a lock and an alarm. So, what's my percentage for. Alarm disarm? 100%. Might as well get free XP. Move over. This is my specialty. Not a whole lot of XP, but better than nothing. And then we go with the lockpick. Same same chance. D20. Uh, dice roll. One would give me success, so let's go for it. Step back and give me some room. Excellent. I'm just going to check my inventory, because I want to make sure that I got the part from the android in the cave. Not 100% sure what I'm looking for, to be honest with you. It's not there. Those are the repeaters and some junk and a bunch of other stuff. More junk. I don't see uh, anything to do with an android. Oh, that's an interesting melee weapon there. That's new, new, new. What's this? Um, blog book. Fly wings, members only jacket. That's the toad eye, isn't it? You know what? Doesn't look like I got anything from the android in the cave. I'm gonna run back there real quick and see if there's anything I can salvage from it. Uh, I thought it got blown up after the crit fail. Um, you thought what got blown up after the crit fail? Yeah, I don't think I've seen anything get blown up yet. Or unless you're talking about the um, radio tower. Just 
just gonna run back to this first cave and see if I if there's anything I can get from that android. I've already been through that gate. It's in this cave. Uh, a little further down. Uh, when you were scavenging the corpse in the toad cave. Oh, did something blow up? I'll find out. Can't remember if it blew up or not. What do we got? Anything I can do here? Nope. So if I examine... Mechanical man is slumped against an oil splattered or spattered rock. It's left leg severed at the hip. Whereabouts unknown. Oh, we've already found the left leg, haven't we? There's nothing we can do here? No. Yeah, you must be right. Yeah, I'm a... Wow, obviously missed that. Some crit fail. I, I was probably uh, chatting away and not paying attention to the game. So, well observed. Right, um, I think we're done in this area. Let's check the map markers. Cave entrance, been there. Been to that guard post. Been to that cave. Been to the radio tower. Yeah, I think it's time to go back to the wasteland. All right. And then we'll head to... Oh, I think we'll head to High Pool first. And... Um, See if we can't put one of these repeaters in the radio tower. A lot of carnage around here. Um, check my map. Where am I going? Oh, wrong way. This way. We see everything. Woo! <laughs> Fit in for the month of uh, Halloween. Wasteland. Enter the wasteland. Gather your squad and travel to wasteland. Yes, please. How's your weekend going so far, anyway? Um, I've got water, I've got, I've got water, I'm just checking the map real quick, where am I going? I'm going east and then south, or do I want to go to, yeah, I want to go to, no, no, west and then south, otherwise I'll run into radiation, I think, Let's see how this goes. Might as well top off at the oasis. Um, do I, you know what? Let's do this. A little, little bit more action is what we need on this stream. Gotta lose five pounds in the next three days to keep my job. Oh, wow. Well, best of luck with that. Five pounds in three days. That's, yeah, that's asking a lot. Holy moly. That's asking, that's asking a heck of a lot. I couldn't imagine losing five pounds in a week or maybe even two weeks. Wow. Well, yeah, really good luck with that. I hope that I hope you're able to pull that off. But, you know, make sure you take care of yourself. Um, you see Dangerous Raiders approaching a position. We're going to go for this one. Just a little extra combat. Doubling up on your range of skills can be useful sometimes, but remember that it still pays to have a team of specialists. Oh, wow, there's a raider right there up by the radio already. Oh, the, oh, I like this map. I think this is the map that I'm thinking of. Yeah. Yeah, this is, this is a fun map. Right, so let's advance the whole squad up to the top. Leave my sniper here. Um, shotgun down to the wall 
Try not to trigger the encounter yet. Assault rifle to cover. Assault rifle to cover. Medic back here, take a knee, stay out of the way. And shotgun advance slightly. Let's go back to sniper and see if I can get a shot off. 91%, that's a good shot. And what's that one? 90%. Oh, encounter begins. We've got two blades and a handgun. Ooh, ouch. Um, 47%. Whose turn is it? Oh, it's my sniper's turn. Here we go. So that's 47. That's not good. Oh, what a shame. I missed a great opportunity to kick this battle off. But 97% is all right. <laughs> Here we go. Attack. And dead. Brent's aim is true, and the bullet strikes a raider cutter, inflicting 16 points of damage, blasting a tunnel through his brain. And end turn, yep. 40% for my assault rifle. I don't, that's against the gunner, isn't it? Gunslinger, it's the only option I've got. I think, hmm, set up for ambush maybe? Or, yeah, I think he just, no. Now he's not going to set up for ambush because I could get friendly fire. I think what I do is... Hmm, shame it's his turn first, actually. That's okay. Actually, he can move to here. Get cover. I can set up for ambush. I can make sure Angela's... Or, or not Angela, Amelia's out of the way. Oh, actually, that's giving me a target. 14, eh, yeah, still not worth it. Ambush. Now, Angela is going to move here and move here. Probably a bit close, so switch to melee weapon. Move here. Or actually, the, yeah, just attack. Nice one. And does she still get to move? Yes, she does. So she comes back to cover. And changes weapon. And ends turn. Nice. And um, bush. Ooh, missed. Alien howls with rage as his shot on a raider cutter goes wide. Oh, and he misses me. Embarrassingly, a raider cutter completely misses Amelia. Well, that's good. Um, my medic is just going to end turn. And Amelia is going to blast this raider cutter with her shotgun. 40%. That's it? Has he got cover? Oh, I guess he does. Well, we know how to solve that problem. There we go. And boom. Missed? What? How is that even possible? Come on. A raider cutter is not struck by buckshot. And now she doesn't have any more AP, but she can move out of the way. So I think that's what she's going to do. She's going to move to cover hmm, this side of the... Can I move there? No. Or there. What's how much range have I got? Well, it's not ideal, is it? Who goes? Right, so Alien can move on the next turn. She's not gonna have an ambush, but at least she's out of the way there. My sniper's still not got a great shot. Angela's going to get to go first. I think he's just going to set... Hmm. He's just going to set up for ambush, I think. Or do I move him? No, he's going to move over here. That's what he's going to do. He's going to move down to cover. 
behind this rock and then take a shot. Yeah, the D20 miss, absolutely. Absolutely right. Hasn't happened that much lately, thankfully. I've been getting fortunate rolls. 82% um, chance to hit. There we go. Let's have a shot. That's better. There we go. Nice and straightforward. One D20 miss and everything else was perfectly fine. Go collect my loot. And what have we got? Dented can of tuna. Nice. <laughs> Tobacco. And a pocket medic pack. And a necklace. I should probably head back to Ranger Citadel and sell some of this stuff, to be honest with you. Oh, distribute. There we go. Um, anything else? Did I... Yeah, I think I picked up their stuff. Can I exit up here? I can't remember. Probably not. Probably walk up. No, nope. brick wall. End. Well, not brick wall. A dead end. Can only exit the way I came in. And away we go.